morning guys it's Chris from Nichols Retirement Empire you know I used to wonder you know how everybody used to sit out on their front porch back in the day you know and mainly because we didn't have air conditioning so everybody sit outside and I always thought man that this must be really boring um, but I've started doing that like the last week or so here in my yard on the front porch and um, I have seen more things than <laughs> now I know exactly why everybody sat out on their front porch. I have, uh, we put our bird feeders out here, which has been very successful. I bought an owl to try to keep the hawks at bay. Uh, but now I have to tell you, the hawks have been everywhere. They've been in every tree in my yard. They've been on the bird feeders, on the ground under the bird feeders. They haven't gotten any birds that I've seen, but I'll tell you what I have seen. <laughs> I've seen the hawks have sex, hawk sex, um, three times, three times. Uh, once, actually twice, in that tree right there, right in front, right in front of me, just right here. Um, once in a tree over there in my neighbor's yard and I started thinking man if, there, if I've seen it three times man how much is going on while I'm not watching I don't I don't even know I didn't video it um, I just don't feel that's you know I don't want to be accused of peddling or something <laughs> but I will tell you this much there are people that to see what I have seen just in my yard and on this porch over the last week, there are people that would pay good money. I mean, you know how many people never get to see a hawk? They're red-shouldered hawks. Um, how many people never get to see hawks and they're hunting and, and doing other hawk activities? Uh, it has been crazy. I go inside and I tell Tammy the stories of what, you know, well, today the hawk flew over and he landed in that tree and then it got in and then there were some, and, and then these birds showed up and then they're chasing the other bird. I mean, I have all these stories of all these things that are happening. They don't know, they don't even involve people. Um, it's kind of like the Brer Rabbit kind of stuff where you have all these stories about the animals and what they do. And that's just sitting on my porch. I mean, I'm not like a hunter or something. I'm not out in the wilderness. Um, so it's really been crazy this last week. I've really, um, it's really been a learning experience just sitting on the porch and then of course when the people walk by walking their dogs i know what kind of dog everybody has and i know what directions the airplanes fly when they come across the house here and i know uh, anyway you used to learn all kinds of things you used to learn all kinds of things you never learn on the inside uh so this has been a fantastic experience and um you can hear you hear all the birds and stuff out here we have ton, we have so many birds down here. It is crazy, and I figured out the birds are are pretty good at math. Um, the reason I say that is because when those hawks showed up in our yard, um, I was like, "Man, we're not going to have any birds. The birds are just going to all disappear." Uh, but the birds understand that the chances of that hawk getting them with all these other birds around and and being in the right place at the right time for that hawk to get them. Uh, apparently it's pretty pretty low for them they probably have a 99.99 percent chance of going to the bird feeder and flying around and doing whatever they do in their birdie life without the hawk getting them uh, so they just kind of you know they're cautious they're cautious birds they don't just go out there and lay down on the ground in front of the hawk but <laughs> they, they understand percentages I'm pretty sure so uh, I'll try to get some footage here we have of the hawk. Uh, the other day we pulled up in our yard. It was like I said, it was sitting right there on top of our bird feeder, you know. And there were birds eating. They <laughs> sit right there beside it. The squirrels get right beside them. Apparently the squirrels aren't scared of them either. Um, but anyway, I'm sure they're scared of them when the hawk eats them. But it's been fantastic out here. Get out on your porch if you don't have a porch. Get out in your front yard and uh, throw out some bird feeders or something and just sit there and see what happens. Or just sit there and watch your neighbors. You'll have just as many good stories. <laughs> probably better, you know, probably better. 
Um, but that's not nice. You shouldn't go out and watch your neighbors and uh, talk about them. That's, don't do that. We don't do that on Nichols Retirement Empire. We don't talk about our neighbors. Uh, the dogs, the dogs are a fair game. Uh, the other day, this guy was walking his dog down through here, and this squirrel came running down the tree, and he about ran right in that dog's mouth, and the dog about pooped in the yard. He just scared him to death. <laughs> jump back, and the squirrel jumped back, and the squirrel ran back up the tree. And the dog tried to bite him, but he couldn't bite him. My dogs are the worst squirrel hunters. They, we have all oh, we have tons of squirrels, and my dogs will run out, you know, their little doggy door, and run out in the backyard. And the squirrels run up the trees, and they never, they, I've never once seen them look up. I, I don't know what they think happens to the squirrels, but they just totally disappear. They just keep running, and then they look around, and the squirrels are gone, and they give up. There's a squirrel right there trying to get in my bird bath. See? See the things that go on out here? It's crazy. Thanks for watching Nicholas Retirement Empire.